Did you ever want to make your own custom marketplace items like hats, shirts, or even character models? You can now do that, guys. Let's get right into it. Hey, guys, what's going on? Small Plays here, and welcome back to another video, guys. Today, we're back in Roblox for some more news. Today, we're going to be talking about the RDC, so the Roblox Developer Conference. And it's gonna be a 2019 one because there's a lot of interesting news. And I think you guys would love to know it actually as you guys do want to see a live stream or you want all the news for that has been going on for Roblox and you guys all want the news. So guys, if you guys are ready and want to see more of this video type of stuff, go hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, ding that notification bell, we'll be highly appreciated and let's get right into it. So right now guys, the RDC is officially on its way. It's, uh, I think it's day two at the moment. There's been a lot of announcements already. If it's gonna be even more announcements today or stuff like that. I'll be sure to make another video tomorrow covering everything else that has been said today. So right now we are on the Boxing News uh, Twitter because it's just the best way for me to give you guys the information and you guys can read along as well at the same time. But I want you guys to know everything and my opinions on it and, and like all the inside scoops on all the new things. So there's been a lot of, a lot of, a lot of new announcements for Roblox in this year and as well for, of course, next year, what's gonna be happening and gonna be added to the game. A lot of user created content, just like you can see in the title, that we are actually gonna be able to make our own items, which is ridiculous. So let's get right into, let's just start from start to finish from what has been announced up till now on RDC 2019. So we can see that Roblox actually has been growing uh, the past year a lot from six to, from around like 58 million to 100 million users actively every month, which is insane. So it means we've almost doubled in a year. So that's absolutely ridiculous. Uh, I don't know if it's been doubled on YouTube as well, but it's definitely been going up on the player count on a normal game. You can see it like all the other big games have like a hundred thousand plus concurrent players, which is absolutely insane. So we can see that Robux is still growing. So if you guys are thinking that Robux is dying, you are definitely mistaken. Maybe it's on YouTube, but, but at least it's not on the game itself, which is super awesome. There's now four uh, games with over one billion plays and as well has been uh, a total of seven games with a hundred thousand plus concurrent players at one time ever this year so that's pretty cool we can see as well there's been 19 million games published almost a thousand games with 10,000 plus concurrent players and with 1 million plus plays it's already 2.6 thousand games which is ridiculous it's like absolutely ridiculous. it's bigger than some games on steam just like they say it's just Amazing. They as well sold over 40 million Robux toys since launch in 2017, which is a lot more than I thought. Like, I thought that maybe, like, it would be, like, 2 to 5 million, maybe. But 40 million plus toys is absolutely ridiculous. Super high number. And I'm super proud of, actually, the team behind the Robux toys that they actually started making them. And it's such a huge success. So this is the big thing, guys. User-generated content, UGC. If you see this term, you now know what it means. It is extremely close to coming to Roblox. There's actually a lot of things coming. You can see some concept art on the right, which is absolutely ridiculous. But what does this mean, guys, is that everyone is going to be able, if you are a verified, like, there's a few, uh, like, things you need to do before you actually are allowed to do this. But like, you need a verified account, etc, etc. Uh, but you're able to make your own items. This is probably made in Blender or whatever you want to make this in, which is insane. You can see a cool character on the right as well. I absolutely love this one over here but Roblox actually wants to stray away from creating their own items and wants only items made by you guys at home which is absolutely insane so if there ever was an item you wanted like you wanted a certain crown you wanted some wings you wanted whatever you can now go ahead and if you're good enough in Blender or you can let someone else make it for you you can get your own personal item in the game and nobody else can get it unless you sell it. So if you don't want to sell the item, it can be an exclusive item just for you. So that's going to be absolutely insane. Now maybe we'll be making some top 10 videos in the future when this comes out. Because I think like every week there's going to be so many cool items introduced into the catalog. And it's going to be more than you guys can ever keep up with. So that's going to be absolutely insane. So now we're going to be listening to like 37 seven seconds of this guy uh, explaining UGC in more detail. So you guys explain it and like understand a little bit more as well. We are market makers. We want to enable you in every way you can to succeed and unlock whatever you're dreaming of. 
UGC expansion is coming. I can't share too much about this because product told me I'm not allowed to, but- So this actually shows already like some ecosystems, new markets. So you're able to monetize this as well. You can set whatever price you want. So if you want like an exclusive item that costs a million Robux, you could make it. And maybe one person will buy it and will be like the most unique person around the globe that has that, which is super duper cool and super awesome. We're gonna eventually see all of your creations all across Roblox from the catalog, to plugins and studio, to merch officially built by you and branded by Roblox, and you will sell it all. It'll be unlocked, whatever you dream of, I don't care. So the UGC takeover is coming, folks. We can applaud the UGC takeover. <laughs> So yes, yes, yes. So this means as well something I was going to mention a little bit later. There's even going to be able to be able, that you are going to be able to sell plugins and more like that. So developers rejoice more ways to make money inside of Roblox. Absolutely ridiculous. As well, they mentioned merch. I don't know if they actually mean real merch or if they mean the merch in game. If that could be provided by Robux, that would be absolutely ridiculous. They, of course, take a ref share of that. But that's going to be insane. So a lot of cool UGC uh, details explained right here content is seen you know we had an events program to us that felt a little too slow now, another thing we've started to enroll v1 we'll say it uh live ops ensuring your content is seen you know we had an events program to us that felt a little too slow not agile enough to represent how much content on roblox is doing stuff so this is kind of our v1 version of the live ops uh and we're gonna hopefully get this expanded greatly i know we will and work with you all to get more and more games doing more and more events for more engagement from all of our many players so the next big thing, guys, it's going to be crazy. 3D layered clothing, skin characters, and avatar editor integrated into the catalog. That's just insane. Oh my god. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Yeah, so, like, they're able to grab their clothes, and whatever you're wearing, it's literally just going to be on there and you can like make large scale animations as well it's going to be added into into the editor which is absolutely insane like just imagine the kind of editing the kind of animations you're going to be able to do but let's just go back a little bit more like you can see a little character running at the start with the layer clothing so nothing is just like on the body anymore it's actually going to be like real clothing which is insane like something so simple is super awesome and is coming to roblox like absolutely insane like, look at that. Like, that's going to be such a good addition. And I'm so hyped to see this. And, oh, as well, design my own clothing. So, next up on the list, of course, we have ourselves used to generate your hats are going to be coming as well. Which is insane. So, you can literally build and sell them yourself. Uh, there's going to be tools for creators as well to manage their catalog assets and that kind of stuff. So, it's going to be super nice to create your own hats if you want a crown, if you want some feathers, if you want to make a hat, if you want to make a own Dominus. It is possible as long as is not a duplication more on that so that's going to be more environmental lighting as well which is super cool you can see it right here it's going to be new model lighting so even more model textures which is insane new custom materials look at that that looks ridiculous default materials are going to be able to make custom whatever you want to do with them it just looks absolutely insane the new lighting is going to make roblox feel even better and if you guys want to make like a highly super nice looking like look at that that does look, look like roblox it's just absolutely insane like look at those lighting effects super cool gonna be coming very soon as well allow you to make higher detail games in the future i have to see how good it's gonna work on pcs and on mobiles whatever because high graphics means more lag and robux is not the best optimized game for lag in my opinion but we'll have to see how that will work out. As well as some more terrain vegetation is coming, like grass, uh, grass, rocks, flowers, and more. Super cool. Uh, of course, add some nice immersion. You can even... Oh, look at that. Look at that mash. So you can literally make it however you want, what colors you want to give it. Super cool. And then we can actually have some real life feeling like normally grass like has to be custom made it never really was real but this way we can make everything look absolutely ridiculous here's some more information on the ugc so it will require a verified creator account Publishing items will require a listing fee, price floors, min-max Robux per item type, minimum amount of items uploaded per week and month, and as well revenue sharing. We don't really know what that means with minimum amount of items uploaded per week, because it should probably say maximum, but maybe you have to make at least like five items a month to be able to 
do this? I have no clue how this is gonna work, but still pretty cool. And some nice information as well, like there's just a lot of question marks, like what's a verified creator account? Like what does that mean? What, do you need to make a game for that? Do you need to be like part of the new uh, VIP that's gonna be added? Like, it's gonna be pretty cool. There's gonna be a lot of questions right now with this, and we just, time will tell the answers for this. This is what I mean with the VIPs actually called premium. So, probably the Builders Club is gonna go away fully, and we're gonna get premium instead, which is pretty cool. This is an account, as you guys can see, and they were testing it, and we will hear more on Saturday. I don't know if they actually did reveal more on Saturday for this, uh, but it's still really, really cool that they're gonna add premium. Maybe this means a creator account, don't think so, but it could tie in with premium as well that you can able to upload your own created items to the catalog. There's actually a lot of things that are gonna be released in 2020, as you can see from this picture from Forsy, which is pretty cool. So there's a lot of stuff coming in 2020, including emotes, which is uh, pretty insane. So emotes actually are scheduled for 2020, so if you are dying to use some emotes inside of Roblox, you have to wait a little bit longer, guys, because it's scheduled for next year and not this year. That's all for the people that are getting banned quite often or don't know what they did wrong. Moderation is actually going to be improved as well. God bless for that. We're now going to get a description of what is action has been given as well. More information will be given less late next year once this is implemented. Still super awesome that we can see finding some moderation change because I know they're so unfair sometimes to people. They're like, what did I do wrong? I don't know. And I'm just getting right now absolutely redonkulous on and like what is happening to my account. And it's just fully gone and you don't know why. So new moderation changes are coming ASAP as well. So as well with the virtual items, you're able to make them be awarded like in the event. So that's why events actually got removed probably because it was too much development time, too much of uh, like, because you have to make the map, you have to make the items, you have to make like the event. And now we're probably going to be able to do this ourselves and hand out event items. So just like imagine that the event we had a mining simulator like a few months ago, we can actually get it in game items, which you can wear in every single game if we do that kind of stuff. Super awesome. Awesome and probably will be beckoned as well by Roblox if you're a little bit more well-known developer. Maybe even gets like a spot on the homepage. Super awesome. So this is a little bit harder to see, but this actually is going to be another character version. And it's going to be with realistic movement with new added joints and this is called S97. Why they come up with the names, I have no clue, but this looks really cool. I'm sorry for the bad, like, it's just filmed with a, yeah, with a normal phone, so... Uh, but it just looks really cool. You can see the, the real love movements. And this is Roblox. Like, can you just imagine how sick this is in some games? Maybe dance games, maybe like fighter games. Like, we're maybe we're gonna get, get games like Tekken or Super Smash in Roblox. If you have these character like movements, super awesome. And you can see the model as well. It's called Loa, which is super, super sick. I love. This character model. It's that I don't use like a female character in Robux, of course. But I would definitely rock her if I was a female. Maybe even just for funs and giggles. Just use this character. Because it just looks absolutely insane. Imagine having these movements already in Roblox. Like, oh my god. If you guys were wondering when is the uh, user-generated content actually starting. This will, will be a first batch of testing. Already next Thursday. Can you believe it? Just a few days in. Just a few days and then we're gonna be able to get ourselves our own user generated content. Absolutely ridiculous. I don't know if I will be part of it or whatever, who per, like who will be part of this part. But it's gonna be absolutely ridiculous. We're already gonna get cool custom items on Thursday. Get it, better get your wallet ready guys. Better get your wallet ready. So now we're gonna go over a series of quick information uh, that this like all given in a Q&A. Uh, that we're gonna go over really really quickly. So first off the 860 FPS I do yes We're gonna be able to get higher in the future absolutely ridiculous So the rating system as well is gonna be probably changed to instead of all-time likes and dislikes to when a new Updates rolled out we're probably gonna get like maybe the count's gonna be reset or something like that So we're gonna be getting more accurate results So if your game did bad at the start had a bad launch is not doomed forever with like a 50% like rate show If you do the new update, which is good You can definitely get like a lot of likes and maybe get like a 90-95% like ratio Super awesome thing and super awesome way for games to like get some revenge if they fudge up the first time Dark team coming to the admin page and trade as well Pretty nice. Something everyone has been asking for a long time. It's seamlessly teleporting between Roblox games. 
And it's coming soon. This will allow you to seemingly teleport in one game and then walk into the other or go into another one as well, which is super cool. Yes, no more waiting. Of course, as well, with the addition of user-generated items, we're able to get ourselves limited items in the game. So if you just want to sell a thousand of them or just one, imagine the scenes. Get it? You're like making one version, like just one item, one hat. Sell it for a million Robux. First person that sees it will get it. Oh my god, that's insane. The biggest one of them all, of course, is going to be the selling of pre-existing limiters, such as Dominus's Velks. At Cedar Rider, will be a system that detects and moderates a duplication of items. Oh, yes. This is something that we need. I hope it's going to be added to normal clothing and stuff like that as well. So we're going to get rid of all the billions and billions of items on the catalog that are just re-uploaded by bots at Cedar Rider. This is such a good thing. Thank you, Robux, for this one. As well, if you want to be playing Robux on your Nintendo Switch, PlayStation, etc., Robux actually coming to those platforms as well. Oh my god, I'm going to be able to play Robux on my phone when I get my Switch. Answer everywhere. It's going to be so cool. We're going to be playing Robux absolutely everywhere. Like I said, as well, you're able to sell your own plugins and assets to the game. So if you're a builder, if you're a scripter only, you can sell all that cool stuff and make a lot of money of it as well. So as well, we're going to be able to have the ability to actually get some mirrors by Robux themselves. Mirrors some, some most of the times are very, very hard to create if you're doing it yourself. So it's super awesome that we're going to be able to see some mirrors made by Roblox and that we can use them in our games. So that's going to wrap up RDC 2019 for today. Of course, if you missed anything, you can go over to the Blocks and use Twitter if you want to read some more stuff, if you want to see some more videos. But that's everything you guys need to know and to be up to date. So new clothing, new hats, new like it, Robux coming to other platforms as well. So much exciting stuff and this is just day one. So guys, if you guys did enjoy this video, of course, smash the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new. Ding that notification button down below, guys. We'll be highly appreciated. And I'll see you guys later today or tomorrow for another video. If you guys want to see more news from tomorrow's or actually for me today's uh, things that will be happening at RDC. I'll be sure to make an, a video tomorrow if this gets, so we say, 500 likes. If you get 500 likes today's video, I'll make a part two on tomorrow's things as well. Maybe we'll even combine everything into one video. Will be absolutely ridiculous. So I'll say, take care. Love you. Bye. Thanks so much for watching. And of course, take care, guys.